Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this is Development from the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry by Albert G. Mackey. Development. The ancients often wrote their books on parchment, which were made up into a roll, hence called a volume, from Barvetti to roll off. Thus, he who read the book commenced by unrolling it, a custom still practiced by the Jews in reading their sacred law, and it was not until the whole volume was unrolled and read that he became the master of its contents. Now, in the Latin language, to unfold or to unroll was devolvere, whence we get our English word to develop. The figurative signification thus elicited from etymology may be well applied to the idea of the development of masonry. The system of speculative masonry is a volume closely folded from unlawful eyes, and he who would understand its true intent and meaning must follow the old proverb and commence at the beginning. There is no royal road of arriving at this knowledge. It can be attained only by laborious research. The student must begin as an apprentice by studying the rudiments that are unfolded on its first page. Then as a fellow craft, still more of the precious writing is unrolled, and he acquires new ideas. As a master, he continues the operation and possesses himself of additional material for thought. But it is not until the entire volume lays unrolled before him in the highest degree, and the whole speculative system of its philosophy is lying, outspread before him, that he can pretend to claim a thorough comprehension of its plan. It is then only that he has solved the problem and can exclaim, the end has crowned the work. The mason who looks only on the ornamental covering of the roll knows nothing of its contents. Masonry is a scheme of development, and he who has learned nothing of its design and who is daily adding nothing to his stock of Masonic ideas is simply one who is not unrolling the parchment. It is a custom of the Jews on their Sabbath. In the synagogue, that a member should pay for the privilege of unrolling the sacred law. So too, the mason, who would uphold the law of this institution, must pay for the privilege, not in base coin, but in labor and research, studying its principles, searching out its design, and imbibing all of its symbolism, and the payment thus made will purchase a rich jewel. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.